Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me here today. I have been a bit naughty and I bought myself a new bag that I want to probably introduce you to. So if you're new to my channel today then I am Anna and I post fashion styling videos every single week on my channel so if you do not want to miss any of my upcoming uploads then make sure that you are subscribed to my channel and if you generally enjoy fashion and outfit inspiration and you like a girly and neutral style then definitely head over to my Instagram because that's where I post my outfits every single day. All right, so I don't even want to make a fuss, um, but I have a new bag that I want to unbox with you just because I feel like buying a new bag is such a commitment that you want to probably celebrate it. And I've, I've, I've done good, like I'm really, really happy and I'm really excited about my purchase. So I bought my bag pre-loft, which is what I want to talk about today. So I want to talk you through the process of buying something pre-loft, how to make sure it's authentic, how to make sure it's not a fake, how to just spot the real deal, how to make sure you're getting a good deal and you're not getting ripped off. And then of course also introducing you to the new bag and the reasons why I bought it and so on and so on. So, um, so I'm gonna open up my little cardboard box and the first thing that comes out is the original receipt which is something I would always check for. You should get the original receipt and the previous owner of this bag actually sent me the receipt as a picture and now she even um, gave me the full receipt. She, she bought it from Fashionat which is a really good retailer. It's kind of like far fetch in Germany but you get the option of paying in installments so loads of people who buy their first designer bags um, buy on that side. So I think it's a really good one. I got the full receipt and everything. And then once I open up this little package, I got the dust bag. And as you can see, it's in a two-tone color. So you have this like blush pink crocodile leather, just like embossed. And then you get this really soft um, brown leather on the top half. And of course, the gorgeous gold hardware. So I'm going to open it up a bit more uh, before I talk about why I bought this bag and if I think it's still worth it in 2022. So once you open it up, of course, you have the long chain strap inside. And then, of course, it also comes with the label. So you get the label from Fashionette, again, kind of like Farfetch. You get the Chloe Authenticity card. You get the Chloe label and you get the Chloe warranty card. So all in all, this has been a super good like experience. I got all the authenticities, all the labels, everything you would expect from normally purchasing it. And then when you look inside of it, you can see it's like quite empty and it pretty much is just like very like open space. And it's not even lined, it's like a suede lining on the inside, which is typical for the Chloe Drew bag. So here you get the little Chloe logo embossed and then of course you have it on the hardware but other than that you can't really tell and then of course we have this classic little clasp and the long chain strap now why did i choose to buy a chloe drew bag in 2022 i know these bags were super popular in 2014 2015 and pretty much everyone had them and to be honest ever since then it had been on my wish list i always wanted the right pink the cement pink color which is like the all pink but looking at it a couple of years later it just made me feel it reminded me of every single blogger in 2014 and I kind of just felt used and done and like not really fresh or up to date anymore which I feel like is really a thing with Chloe like their bags are more trendy they're less classy they are less long lasting I would say the quality of them is pristine but I would say their styles go in and out of season much more quickly than any other luxury brand. And I feel like the Chloe Drew bag has been around for such a long time. Now, a strong contender with this one is the Chloe Test bag. I'm going to blend in a picture. So if you do not know what I'm talking about, the Chloe Test bag came after that. I think it was in 2018. It really had its peak and then... I think it still really is one of the most trendy bags of Chloe, other than the Chloe Witty bag. I'm going to blend that in right now, so you actually have a clue what I'm talking about. But Chloe changes their style so, so frequently. And I have to say, the Chloe... Uh, and I... And I have to say that the Chloe test bag has been on my wish list 
for such a long time. I think in 2017 when it launched, I fell in love with the Mardi Gray color and that has been on my wish list ever since. And I actually considered this to be my first designer purchase. However, I chose against it because I wanted a bigger bag where I could fit in all my like daily things and have it as an everyday bag. And then now I wanted something that I could wear a bit more casually, but something that transitions easily from day to night. And I don't really see the Chloe Tess bag as a night bag. I feel like the Drew bag does a much better job with it. Um, and I do have to say, I love, love, love the Monty Gray color of the Tess bag. But I've looked into my wardrobe and it's just... It's not really fitting. I've stumbled across this and I saw it obviously pre-locked because this is not a really common colorway and something about this just felt so fresh and so unique and different. And I've had a look into my wardrobe and since the Chloe test bag was in the modic gray color on my wish list, I just looked at it and I was like, I don't think gray suits the best into my wardrobe. Whereas with this one, when I saw it, I just got instant ideas of what I could wear it with. And I just looked into my closet and I was like, I think the Chloe Drew bag would go with every single one of these outfits, especially in this color combo. And I was a bit worried about the two-tone color limiting my outfit options, but I've been experimenting with it. Like, I have to be fair, I've been wearing this for about a week or one and a half weeks now before doing the unboxing video just because I didn't have any time to film it and I've just been wearing it with everything. It just goes with everything and I feel like with the brown top half you can so beautifully pair it for autumn as well but then again in summer you could easily wear it with a white beach dress and my brown like dune slides and it just looks so chic and classy and I feel like because of the two-tone color it doesn't look like the been there, done that 2014 kind of blogger style bag. So I really, really like it. I love how simple and chic it is. And I have to say, I much prefer this color combo now than I do the full on cement pink color. It's just not something that I would buy for myself anymore these days. But with this one, I really had to love at first sight. I saw it and I was like, oh my god. That is the Drew bag that I want. And I have been thinking about it for a while, a couple of weeks, and then I've just let it sit and then just really couldn't get it out of my head. So I knew I had to get it. And I'm really, really glad I did. Obviously, I went for the mini version. So the Chloe Drew bag comes in different sizes and it comes in the smaller size and then there's a large size that they do. And I went for the smaller size and I have to say, I feel like with Chloe bags it always is like that. So you can also get the test bag in a small and a big size, but the big sizes just look wrong. Like the proportions and everything, the design, it just it doesn't work out anymore. I feel like with Chloe you can really only get the smaller bags. Especially with this one because I feel like it looks dainty, it looks chic, it looks more like an evening bag if you get it in the smaller size. And the large size just, it, I don't know, it doesn't do that. It, like it's too big for an evening bag and then for a daytime bag it's still not big enough so I would always prefer my DNG for the daytime and then just switching for this in the night or when you just run around with your essentials especially in summer when you don't want to carry a lot this is the perfect like little crossbody bag to carry with you so yeah it doesn't really fit a lot if you want a what fits inside my Chloe Drew bag video then let me know I'd be really happy to do that because I just love watching this video and honestly I have been looking up a lot of Chloe Tess versus Drew back videos when making this purchasing decision and there are not that many and I feel like it's because I'm kind of late to the party and everyone already had the Drew and the Tess but I didn't and I waited and I still love both of these bags and I feel like if I would get the Tess bag it had to be in a very specific color and I don't even think they do that colorway so I'm gonna wait until they do it and then decide but something in my heart just told me that this was the right decision because the test bag I have already decided against when buying my DNG and then this time again I was like I could buy the test but I think I would prefer the Chloe at uh, the, the Drew so yeah I just ended up getting this one and I have to say I'm really really glad I did although I have to say the Drew bag does have a couple of downsides first of all everyone complains having a test um, that that's a really noisy bag However, the Drew bag is just as noisy. I don't know how noisy the test bag is, but this one's quite noisy as well. So you always get this that kind of comes against the hardware when you walk. And then one thing that really kind of annoys me a bit is with the Drew bag, you always get the strap like tied around the little hoops. 
and when you walk these just they kind of click against each other so it is a noisy bag definitely and this is something that annoys me but because I feel like every time I walk I kind of destroy my pack just because I feel like you know you can already hear it being used so I often end up holding it or something um so yeah, if you have a tip for that then please let me know the other thing about the Chloe test bag or the, the other thing about the Chloe Drew bag is it has quite a soft leather so a lot of complaints about this bag were that it sank down especially like in the front half um and when you lay something in it and like the round bottom shape doesn't really get used. The test bag is much more stiff. However, I just put my Apple AirPods on the bottom and I'm always fine. Like it always gets stuffed to the bottom. So that is perfect. And I don't really have any issues with it. It's in pristine condition. I'm really, really happy. So yeah, I don't even want to ramble on too much about it. I'm just gonna pop on a few try on clips so that you can see how it looks on my body as a crossbody bag and also the proportions and yeah, just the general little styling idea but yeah that is my new baby in my collection I'm really really happy I have it now and I can't wait to create some beautiful autumn outfits with it if you enjoyed this video then I would be so happy if you were to join me for upcoming videos on my channel and then I'll say thank you so so much for watching and I'll see you next time bye